Hello. This video will show the process of creating a breeding field or observations field in Phenom Networks. The process is comprised of several simple steps that allow breeders setting up the field, collecting observations, defining selections, creating field reports, and taking decisions on how to proceed. Starting from the home page, you need to select the crop you are interested in and then log in. Here I have two crops, tomato and maize as an example, but other implementations may have other crops. Once we are in, we are presented with a page that describes lists of lines, sometimes referred to as germplasm. This is the genetic material that is represented by seed envelopes. These lists are organized into breeding programs. A program is a breeding project for developing a particular variety type, for example, tomato cherry type with high yield. Here we have two programs called A and B. We can open the program to see the list of lines that belong to it. Once we select a list, here I select ACO Summer 08, all lines in it are displayed on the right. We can see the line name, which is typically the name written on the seed envelope. And then there is another name that is recognized by the breeder and referred to here as breeder name. Also we can see the generation. A more detailed explanation about these lists will be covered in another video. Here we just want to show how to create an observation field. For this we go to the breeding menu and then fields and observations. Here again we see the two programs A and B. For creating an observation field under program A, we select the program and click on the new button. In the pop-up window we select the location of the new field from the list. Here I have three possible locations. I'll select Chatzav and then give the field a name which is Chatzav Fall 12. I can also set the date and then click on Save. I can see the new field under the Program A folder. When I select the field, several tabs appear. Each tab is dedicated for a particular action during the process of the field setup. We'll start the process in the first tab, which is called Lines. Initially, this tab is empty. The first action is to select lines to plant in the field. For this, we click on the Import Lines button from the toolbar. In the pop-up window, we go to the Germplasms set and select which list we want to take lines from. Here I double-click on ACO Summer 11 and the list is displayed. For now, what I want to do is just to take all the lines from that list. Another video will show how to select lines based on their phenotypic data. So I continue by clicking on Select All and then Add. The list of lines appears now as a table. Each row represents a line. The line name is the unique name of the seed's envelope. The breeder name is the name of the line that is recognized by the breeder. Then we have the generation of the line, its female and male parents, and its previous generation. The next tab is called Groups. Here we can sort the lines according to the order we want to plant them in the field. In addition to the name of the line, generation, and parents, the table also shows all phenotypic data of the lines from the previous generation. Each such column represents a trait. So, for example, I have a trait called segment, and another one plant habit, and so on. To order lines, I click on the sort button. In the pop-up window, I select the columns I want to sort by and drag them to the right table. Here I'll select the trait segment, and then fruit weight. I can indicate that I want to sort fruit weight in a descending order, then click OK. Now the table is sorted according to segment in an ascending order, 
and then in each segment according to fruit weight descending. Another action in this tab involves the group column. We can assign lines to groups so we can later on plant them accordingly. Initially the group column is empty. To assign a line into a group we just type in the name of the group. Let's call it group A and then save. We can also select several lines and then give them a group name by typing it on the group text box. For example, I want to give a group name of B and update. Now we have groups A and B. Another option is to assign groups according to a particular trait. I can type the name of the trait in the group text box surrounded by brackets to do that. Here I assign groups according to the segment trait just like this and then update. Now the group column is populated with the same values as those under the segment column. Later on we can select lines to plant according to their segment. So now we move on to the next tab.